I look ghastly. Good morning. <laughs> this is... This is really me getting comfortable with the internet. At least I slept well, clearly. Let's unratchet myself and get ready for the day. human body. If I don't put in these eye drops, my eyes will always look like this. I will look like I smoked a fat doobie. I have an eye doctor this Wednesday. I'll be sure to ask. When you're shaving, speaking for the men or for the bearded people, when you're trying to get your cheeks, do you puff out your cheek like this? Because I do. And my lips. Here, just watch my shave routine. Whenever I shave, I have to do a close-up inspection because sometimes it's just like a, a one hair willy sticking straight out of my upper lip. Something's so bizarre about having one little bing coming out from your face, you know? I'm not gonna um, <laughs> show my skincare routine because it changes literally every day. And also the last time I put my skincare routine on the internet, somebody told me I don't know what I'm doing, which is completely true. This is what I follow every day. Cleanse, tone, treat, moisturize, protect. Saving grace right there. I, when I was a kid, I used to, my grandmother actually made me a custom robe. Am I better on the mess? Let me just. When I was a kid, my grandma made me a custom robe and I used to wear it literally every single day. And then I was no longer seven, but I got a robe in college. I actually got this robe in college. And my God, robes are sick. More people should be wearing robes. Also, this one is hooded, so like at night, you can really dark mall it up. I can really set the tone of my day based on the body wash that I use, the smell of it. You get in that shower, you're feeling grouchy, and you put on something like tropical, breezy, smells like the ocean, coconuts. I'm in Hawaii. You're immediately transported there. No longer in a bad mood because you're not gonna be pissy in Hawaii. That happened to me this morning. Not that I was in a bad mood, but I was in Hawaii when I was in there. That's the shower. If you want to transport yourself to the tropics, you can use this body wash, which apparently they have rebranded shower gel. I haven't gotten a haircut in a minute and that's why the back of my head. I don't even know what it looks like back there, but sometimes I'm watching the vlog back and I'm like, shit. Before you get too involved in this vlog, just know I swear like a sailor in this. In regular life, I am quite the professional, but when it's just me in the bathroom, God, I curse my little bum off. Bear with it because it's prevalent. Sorry, mom, you raised me very well. This is something I learned from all the bad kids in college. It's like cousin it, is that the right one? Cousin it is visiting my scalp, visiting my head. We're just gonna finish up this morning routine because I'm not being funny. Last but so, let's wipe that up. Last but certainly not least, sunscreen. This hair is really not staying back, so we're gonna put some guardrails. Now I look like my mom when she's getting ready for bed. This lighting is ghastly. <gasps> My thrifted clothing is clean. I'm gonna put on one of those. Fuck, it's still wet. Hi, Winnie. Hi. Who's your good little baby? While my laundry dries, this is gonna be the temporary fit. So, making some coffee. I'm gonna eat one of these. And then let's make some of my grandmother's famous soup. Look at that. Kidding me? If you haven't tried Trader Joe's blueberry muffins, what are you doing? Get down. Pippa. The worst part of my mornings is without a doubt making the ladies breakfast just because, oh, that's literally why. The food, this food, I don't know why it's so stinky. And then we add meat to it. It's just not something you want to smell in the morning. And this honestly smells like poo, but they love it. So let's make it. Mmm, beef chicken grill. 
Yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I'm saving you the visual, but. Ooh. Stinky, stinky, stinky. Oh my god, this one especially. Holy shit, this thing stinks. Let's start making this soup. We're gonna be making my grandmother's famous soup. It's so good. It's just like very rich chicken noodle soup. It's just nostalgic. I need this. Bad, I feel it. Apparently coffee only hits you 40 minutes after you drink a cup. So I'm always trying to time myself. So if I have a meeting, I'll always drink a coffee 40 minutes beforehand so that right when that meeting starts, I'm like ready to go. I should have drank this 40 minutes ago, I'm realizing. Making a soup is cool because it's very difficult to go wrong if you just add a bunch of vegetables. And if you are making a soup and you don't know where to start, first of all, maybe look up a recipe. If you do want to make it from scratch, just add a shit ton of vegetables early in the morning with some chicken, unless you're vegetarian or vegan, then don't. Um, okay. And just let it sit on low all day. You know what I was thinking about? This will apply more for any male viewers than it would female. They say that stuff like walnut scrubs and anything that exfoliates your skin that is abrasive is horrible for your skin. But then it's totally fine to take some razor blades and put them on your skin and scrape your skin. Or am I not understanding how a razor blade works? It really makes you feel like you're a, a witch making her potion because you- One eye of onion. One clove of garlic into the cauldron you go. Brew and brew my stew, I do. I wonder if I'm gonna leave all that in. I don't really remember if the recipe calls for basil, but honestly, when in doubt, add it. Oh, that would be good. Did I have to wash this? Shit. Rinse before using, and they tell you, that's when you know. If they don't say anything, it's like, mmm. But rinse before using is like, we use some cancerous shit to get the pests off of this, so we're not liable. I'm gonna wash these. Maybe I've been using a different kind of basil, but is this not the fucking biggest basil leaf you've ever seen? Soup day is my bunny's favorite day of the favorite day because I add the little excess things in here for him. This will be the Morty pile. Mortimus Prime is my rabbit. Morty for short. Speaking of Morty, saddest thing happened to us recently. I've had Morty since college, since my sophomore year of college. He's just been kicking it with me. We spend so much time together, but recently I haven't been able to spend as much time with him because it used to be every day. Now it's like five days a week. And so I was thinking, all right, I know it's been six years, but maybe he still would appreciate a friend. All my impulsive decisions happen when I'm at the pet store. I'm going for like dog food or snake food or rabbit food. And then I come home with another pet. This day was no different. Went to the pet store for some snake food and they had a litter of bunnies. There was this one bunny and all these little kids were sticking their fingers in its face and the bunny was not biting them. If you have a bunny and you stick a finger in its face and it doesn't bite you, that's a keeper. Most bunnies will fucking gnaw that finger. So I told John, I was like, if there ever were a bunny, I would feel comfortable bringing around Morty. It would be this one. We spent about five minutes deciding that we were gonna get this bunny. We adopted it. I looked into the process of bonding bunnies. I'll save you the lecture, but basically we were in the second phase. Also the bunny's name, we named him Rick, completed the duo. It was a few days and so we put them together for like their first one-on-one -on -one play date. And it's expected that there's gonna be some fighting and they're gonna try and assert dominance. And holy shit, this sweet little Rick bunny, baby bunny boy, Eyes went red. Shit you not, looked like a demon. It looked like his cute little eyes, his round eyes, just all of a sudden eyebrows went down and he was on a mission to kill Morty. This little bunny was like trying to get around our barriers to get to Morty. 
when he would get to him, he would bite so hard and pluck out all this fur. So Rick immediately went back in the box that we got him in and we brought him back. Rick and Morty just hated one another. And honestly, it was better for Rick. Rick would have hated his life. He would have been like, who the fuck is this weird older brother? Morty would have been like, who the hell is this spoiled brat little kid? You know, sometimes it's not meant to be. It's so annoying that all these words like free range, cage free, blah, 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 are all gimmicks. Just tell me, were the chickens miserable? Y'all make it so hard to know. The more carrots you add, the sweeter it's gonna be. This is the really witchy part. It feels like that Bugs Bunny, Gretchen, oh my gosh, what is it? Hansel and Gretel, Gretchen, what the hell? Hansel and Gretel episode of Bugs Bunny where the witch is like making him in a stew. Maybe insert clip for context. I feel like I'm that witch right now. Bunny! These are always weird. It's like, is that a chicken's foot or a carrot? While that's coming to a boil, I'm gonna try and get rid of this bump it, actually get ready for the day. My thrifted clothing is now clean and dry. Ow, fuck. We're getting breakfast and there's a Goodwill next door and so we hopped in for like two minutes. Didn't expect to find anything. I found these cool things. It's this thin shirt with awesome palm trees on the bottom. Horrible lighting in here, sorry for that. This like maroon long sleeve. I mean, you'll see it on, okay. It literally looks like nothing special, but it's sick. Hey. It's like a soft, soft fabric type of thing. I looked this thing up on Yucca, Old Spice hair gel, and it came up with literally zero. Uh, it said that it had a crazy carcinogen in it, which sucks. I mean, I obviously don't want to be using it, uh, cause I don't want cancer, but shit. It's the only one I have right now. Why do they gotta put a carcinogenic ingredient into, actually everything's carcinogenic, but not excusing Old Spice, cause I'm sure they're a bunch of corporate evil people. Okay. This is kind of a hair for the day. Add some of this. This smells like the adult version of Dark Temptations by Axe. I've got to go do some shit. This is Morty. You can see where he likes to lay. One time we'll do a whole Morty vlog or something. I don't know what that entails, but let's give him a little thing. Watch him run. He runs so fast. Whenever he hears me giving one of these. I'm hungry as hell. Let's go make some lunch. Oh, the lighting there is perfect. We're gonna make the same thing as yesterday. We're gonna make a bean and cheese burrito because it was amazing. And the tortillas, why did tortillas go bad so quick? That shit sucks. They go bad in like two days. So you have to chow down a bunch of burritos to make sure they don't go bad. I feel like it's only fair to warn you that from this point on the caffeine hit me. So you have been warned. I would take all of this out, but honestly, it's interesting. It could be a case study into the effects of sugar on adults. Let's check on the soup. Who's excited? Huh? Who's excited to see it? Who's excited to see the soup? Who's excited? Yummy. Hello. Welcome back to Nils's Kitchen. Nils cooks. Nils cooks. Pretty good. Felt fluid. It's like a hula skirt dancer. Belly dancer. What is that? Belly dancer? Why is it called belly dancing? Just so it's like, we're not shaking ass, we're moving our bellies. Hopefully one of my avocados is ripe. But an avocado is too ripe and it starts growing its own like internal root system and there's all these little veins everywhere. It starts to feel alive. It feels like it has a blood system, nervous system. It feels like it's growing veins. Afternoon delight. But it's a coffee. Afternoon coffee. Afternoon caffeine. I really didn't need this second cup. Mm -mm. Didn't need it. I wonder what my singing voice sounds like. Mills from the future, what did you think? Shut your trap. It is crazy what a difference having a dishwasher makes, obviously. More specifically with utensils, because I grew up without a dishwasher and we had to wash everything by hand. We would alternate amongst me and my two siblings. Um, although it would almost always be my oldest sister that would have to do it. I was in second place, but like first, second, pretty big gap. My sister was 
primarily the one that did them. I tried to chime in when I, I, I only did it when I was in a phenomenal mood and felt like helping out versus my sister was like having the worst day of her life, got shat on by a bird, is still expected to do the dishes over me. But if you thought I was bad, my other older brother, uh, I meant to say my older brother, not my other older brother. My sister is indeed not my brother. I only have one older brother. Sorry, Erika. Is like, you can't even, you can't even see him. He's so far down there. Anyway, where was I going with this? Oh, so washing these sorts of utensils, absolute pain in the ass. It's always better to be improving in life versus going backwards. If I grew up with a dishwasher and now I didn't have one, I'd be miserable. Happiness, bonk, lowered, uh, but vice versa, living on cloud nine. This is a dream. I'm living the dream. Watch me live the dream. <sighs> Let's make this fucking burrito. Obviously, put on a tortilla. We're gonna cut up some tomatoes with lime, onion, black beans, refried beans, hot and sweet jalapenos. Add some cucumbers for some crunch. Some Cholula, probably about it. I don't think I have sour cream. Oh, and cheese, duh. Tomatoes are such a pain in the ass to cut because of the seeds. I don't know if there's a proper way that you should be doing it because they really just become this like mush ball of tomato skin, little bit of the tomato meat, and then just like a pile of seeds. Kind of like this. You wanna hear how sick my thought process is? I was just thinking, I was like, shit, I have to actually be careful with this knife because it's very sharp. If I cut my finger on camera, if it's bad enough, I'd have to go to the hospital. I would have recorded all of it. And then the other half of me was like, oh, actually that would be, that would be a pretty good vlog. Like cut my finger, come with me to the hospital. Vlog title, you know? I'm putting it out there that I don't want that to happen. The little devil that's on my shoulder, that's like, dude, good vlog. Shut the What do they call that? The call of the void? That's a weird concept. When you're like driving or something, you realize how much power you have behind the wheel all of a sudden, and then you could just like Rrr. Not that I would, but that's the call of the void. That's what I'm just explaining. You know what? People will take anything the wrong way. This is for educational purposes only. People will comment, they're like, that, I've never had that happen. That happens to you? That's probably a sign of something being wrong with you. Don't comment that. Next up, I'm gonna add black beans, some refried beans. This literally looks like dog food. I could easily mix this up with what they eat. Identical. You tell me which one's for humans. See, once again, no biggie. Need a spoon? Use the spoon. Don't worry about having to wash it. Easy peasy. I hate this part. Like, how am I gonna get this off? You can either do this, and then oftentimes it like flies away and flings and clings to a cupboard, or you could like Scoop it with your finger, but I don't want refried bean finger. Sticking to my argument, let's get another spoon. That's my childhood trauma coming up. Me being like, I can't, I can't use another spoon. I, I would have to wash it my, by hand and no. I'm an adult now with a dishwasher. My energy level right now is like uncannily high. We did indeed notice, kind sir. I swear to God, I'm not usually this hyped up. I don't know what did it. Probably the creamer with a splash of coffee. And yet he goes for more. I'm literally like, let's put this together, put some lime on it. Oh, you don't even know what's here. We're gonna put this together, splash some lime over top. Mmm, what was that? And then, oh, an onion. I wonder how many times my mom cut herself with a knife but didn't tell us because I feel like it's an embarrassing thing to do. It's like, I wasn't being careful. You know, when I cut myself, nobody needs to know. Okay, this is definitely done because it's burning. I don't want to overstuff them because it's so annoying to eat this like burrito that's exploding as you're eating it and your hands are like covered in this refried bean concoction. If you hear that noise, no you don't. Okay, this is, okay. Okay, yeah. And it's so sad taking it away because they're like, they love it. They're, it's the best part of their day. And their day equates to like, two, three of my months. So, let her have the damn squeaker. All right, let's try this. Literally, it's not a good combo. How did I mess that up? I thought I was being all like, oh my God, I know what flavor profiles go well together. Uh-uh, doesn't taste that great. You know, I should have known I was going wrong when I started putting cucumber into my burrito. Like, what is that? These ain't your mama's burritos. They're much worse. I want to eat my shitty ass burrito. You can't even call it a burrito. I think that's like cultural appropriation to call it a burrito. Cue the review. Sorry for the angle. I can't really shut this up right now because I'm eating. It's not horrible. It's not great. It's edible. It's sustenance. Four out of 10. 
Why did I shove the entire burrito into my face, you may be asking, and I don't know is my answer. I'm gonna have to cut it here. The soup is still on the stove. It's getting late. I gotta get up early. I'll let you know how the soup is tomorrow. Tomorrow we got some fun stuff planned, so hopefully I'll see you back here, back here then. Uh, but for now, adios amigos. Is that my new outro? I don't think so. How do you come up with an outro? Bada bing, bada boom, boop, boop, boop. Asha, da, da. Maybe I still... I'm a little caffeinated, but... Bah! Actually, one more thing. The soup is so, so, so good. Chef's kiss came out phenomenal. That thing has been sitting for hours, so how could it not be good? So follow that. Actually, I didn't tell you the ingredients. Maybe one time we'll make a soup together and I'll actually tell you how I did it. Um, yeah, bada bing, bada boom, poop, poop, poop. Bye! <laughs>